Uh, welcome back. <clears throat> All right, welcome back to another uh, baseball video. In this uh, game, in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. This is not this is not on base baseball. This is a new basketball game that I've been working on, and it has no name. And uh, maybe as people play it, they can help with the naming part. Um, pretty basic setup. We have uh, two team cards here. So you have the Suns and the Kings. This is 2021-22, uh, so this is the last season. Uh, you can see the coaches here. They each have a grade. And then we have uh, specific plays <clears throat> that happen during the game. We have the roles. Uh, we have some stats and values here that we're going to use uh, as comparisons when they, we have an attempt. <clears throat> uh, we'll use these as our dice rolls. And then these are our scoring runs. So whenever you hit on a scoring run, then these are our potential runs, and these are the dice rolls that lead to those runs. You can see that they're different uh, between these two teams. Um, it's more likely <clears throat> Sacramento is going to have a smaller run than, let's say, Phoenix, who their potential for a big 12 nothing run is uh, better. Same for a, a 10 to 3 run. So um, these are decided based on the coach ratings. So if you're a C coach, then you get a 1% chance. Uh, an A coach is going to get a 3% chance. A B coach, it would be a 1 to a 2 uh, would be... <clears throat> would be a chance at a run. So it's going to be Phoenix at Sacramento. Got a score sheet here. Really basic, just keeping score for each team. And then this is our timer that we're going to use for each of the quarters. Uh, have our sort of running totals up here. Um, we're going to be in quarter one and 12 minutes per quarter in the NBA. So uh, you'll see how this works. Just each possession is going to be a 15 second increment. And if we hit on a run, a scoring run, then that's going to take four minutes off the clock. Um, still working with that a little bit to see if uh, each type of run should be a different amount of time. Uh, let's say an 8-0 run should be two minutes. 9-2 to two run should be two minutes. And then maybe these are three minutes and this is four minutes. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, taking four minutes off the clock seems to keep the scoring in a pretty good place um, just as a standard four minutes off the clock all right uh, let's make sure the microphone is still there and still on good okay uh, let's do this this is going to be a yet to be named basketball game but this is going to be the Phoenix Suns uh, in 2021-22 against the Kings, so from this past season. And it's pretty easy. I've got uh, two D10s, and you roll the D10s, you compare here. And then if we need to look at these numbers, uh, we will. And if we need to look at the runs, then we'll do an extra roll. Um, <clears throat> there is an extra roll for free throw attempts, uh, two point attempts, and three point attempts, and for the and one. So this is like a, you know, you get the bucket and a foul. So there is an opportunity, and you just have to shoot a free throw there. Uh, turnovers are sort of indiscriminate, just general turnovers. Uh, could be a steal, could be whatever. I did have steals broken down, uh, but have not put those back in. So I feel like maybe this is a little better flow. I'm not sure. Maybe when you play it, you want to discriminate between steals. All right, first possession, we're just going with the uh, visitors, get the ball first, and then it's just alternating back and forth. <clears throat> so there's a 37 to Phoenix. The 37 is going to be a free throw attempt, so two free throw attempts. First one is good, so we have our free throw percentage here, 81%, and both are good, so they get two on the free throws. For the Kings, uh, 67 is going to be a bucket, so... Two points for the Kings, so two to two early on here. Here's a 55. 55 is going to be an AM one, so you get the bucket with an opportunity to shoot the free throw, which is good. And back to the Kings, that's an 18, so two free throw attempts for the Kings. 
and they get one of two. 76.88 is their free throw percentage. You can uh, decide to round up or down on those. I like to round down unless it's um, like 0.9. Uh, so they get one of two, and the lead is 5-3 to Phoenix early in the game. 70 is an automatic bucket for the Suns. <clears throat> and here's a 25. 25 is going to be a couple free throws again as Sacramento gets two on the free throws. There's an 80, and 80 is a three-point attempt. And we have our three-point percentage here, so it has to be uh, one to 36 to be good, and it is. <clears throat> As Phoenix drills one from the outside, and they jump out to a 10-5 lead. 78, three-point attempt now for Sac Town, and that's going to be a miss. So miss, we don't do anything. We just uh, move possession. Back to the Kings. <clears throat> I mean, to the Suns is a 26. So it's two free throws for Phoenix. And 81, that's good. So that's going to be <clears throat> two knocked in. For Phoenix, and we come back down. A 73 is going to be an auto bucket for Sacramento as they get the layup. And it's going to be a 54. 54 is going to be an AM one for Phoenix. So we get the two. The hoop and the harm, as they say. And so 915 left in the first. It's 15 to 7, Phoenix over Sacramento. Here's a 36. 36 is a two point attempt. So we have our field goal percentage here, which is a 46%. And that's a 100, so that's not going to go in. And we go back to Phoenix. 61 is going to be an auto bucket as Phoenix has come out hot in this game. Uh, 17, a couple of free throws for Sacramento. Uh, it's going to be one good, two good as they get to uh, within nine. And 83 for Phoenix, so the three balls up from the corner, and it's good. So their three-point percentage is 36, and that's 29, so that's going to be good. 8.15 left in the first quarter. It's 20 to 9. Phoenix has jumped out to the lead. This is going to be a, uh, a two-point attempt, and that's good for Sacramento as they hit the jumper. There's a 1. Okay, so this is our chance to do a run. So a 1 to 3 for Phoenix. Uh, a 1, 2, or a 3 is going to be a, a run. And what we do is we just roll, and then we... Check it against our run chart. That's going to be a 13, so that's going to be an 8-0 run. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <clears throat> 8 nothing run, and sometimes I just want to indicate that by a run. Um, and, or maybe we'll do it this way. We'll do a run like this. And that way I can just kind of gauge how often the runs come in the game. Uh, that's going to be Phoenix. Oh, I'm sorry. we got to take uh, four minutes off the clock. So that's one, two, three, four. So we're down to four minutes in the quarter. And uh, back to Sacramento. It's going to be a 51. 51 is a two-point attempt. And that's good for Sacramento as they come back after taking that run. 75. 75 is another bucket for Phoenix as they are out to a 30 to 13 lead in the first quarter. <clears throat> There's a 60. Uh, 60 is going to be a bucket for Sacramento as they keep shooting. And uh, 66, two points for Phoenix. Three minutes left in the quarter. Uh, There's a 76. That's a three point attempt. And that's going to be good as they drain one for the corner. And back to Phoenix. 84, they get their own three-point attempt, and that's going to be good as well. So, raining threes all over the place. And uh, 14 is going to be a turnover for Sacramento and back to Phoenix. There's a 49, and it's a two-point attempt. It's good for the Suns. And two minutes left in the quarter. It's an 82. 82 is going to be a three, three ball, and that's going to be missed. 54 is higher than their 34% three-point percentage. Uh, a 30 back to Phoenix is going to be a two-pointer, and that is missed as it's just outside their field goal percentage. <clears throat> so that's going to go back to Sacramento, and they promptly turn it over to the Suns. 79, another three ball up in the air, and it's off the rim. And Sacramento brings it back down. 
That's going to be a 16. 16 is a couple of free throws Sacramento's way. 81 is going to be a miss. And 63, so they get one or two from the free throw line. 45 seconds left in the quarter. Uh, Phoenix with the ball, and they drop it in for two more. And 30 seconds left. <clears throat> the possession goes to the Kings. That's going to be a 45. Two-point attempt for the Kings is missed. Last possession in the quarter for Phoenix. That's a nine. That's going to be a turnover. And Sacramento comes back down the other way, a 99. And right at the buzzer, they drain it as they hit a three at the end of the quarter. A uh, big quarter for Phoenix as they jump out to a 39 to 22 lead. So 17 point lead going into the second quarter, but the scoring runs can even the game and hot shooting uh, can even the game uh, for a team. So sort of like the NBA, it's a game of runs and you're never quite out of it. Although the percentage favors uh, the better coached teams. So that was sort of what we, what I uh, relied the runs on is the better coach team. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Sacramento had the ball, uh, hit the last second three in the first quarter, and Phoenix is going to start the second quarter with the ball. 26 is going to be a couple free throws as they go to the line and drain them both. And Sacramento down uh, the floor. And two-point attempt there is going to be good. Trading buckets here. That's going to be a turnover to Phoenix. As Sacramento brings it back down to 15. It's going to be a couple free throw attempts. It's a hard drive to the to the basket. And two-shot foul. They get them both in. And so it's going to be uh, 11 minutes left in the, in the half. Uh, 18 is going to be a free throw attempts for Sacramento. Uh, I mean, uh, Phoenix as they drain both. In a Western Conference matchup here, 45-26 uh, is our score with uh, 11 minutes and 45 seconds left in the half. So we're going back to the Kings here. That's going to be another foul. Uh, that will be one and two. So two shots good for Sacramento. For Phoenix, uh, we get a turnover here. And back the other way, Sacramento can't capitalize as they turn it right back over to the Suns. 35 is going to be a two-point attempt, and that's going to be good. 16-footer goes in for the Suns, and coming back the other way is Sacramento. They get their own attempt, and that's going to clang off the back of the rim. Nine and a half minutes left, and Phoenix has the ball. That's going to be a 72. A uh, little layup right at the basket. Easy one. And uh, they take a 47 to 28 lead. 31 is going to be a two-point attempt for Sacramento as they miss yet another shot. Phoenix comes right back down from the top of the key. That's going to be a three-pointer good. And we head to uh, under nine minutes now in the half. Sacramento with the ball. 91 is going to be good from three as they come back and answer. 31, uh, 50. 50 31 is our score here as Phoenix has stretched out their lead just a little bit. Uh, 46 is going to be a two-point attempt, and that is good as 31 is lower than their 49%. They shoot almost 50% from the field, so just crazy. Uh, Sacramento comes back with the ball and promptly turns it over. Eight minutes left in the half. It's going to be 27. That's a couple of free throw attempts, and they get one of two from the line. The Suns do. <clears throat> Phoenix bringing it back down, or Sacramento bringing it back down and throws it away again. Uh, here's an 81. That's a three ball attempt, and that's going to be good for Phoenix as they continue their hot shooting. A 60. Uh, 60 is a two point attempt and good. So that's an auto bucket for the Kings uh, as they try to hang in. 81, another three ball attempt, and this one is missed from Phoenix. So Sacramento brings it back down. Two point attempt here is good. And. Sacramento trying to climb back into this one. 15, a couple free throws. Uh, 75 is smaller than a free throw percentage, so Phoenix attacks on two more at the line. And Sacramento comes right back down from the corner. That's going to be a three ball in the corner pocket as Sacramento hits the three. Uh, 72, Sun's not deterred as they come back and they answer with two. 
545 left in the half. That's going to be a turnover from the Kings and back to Sacramento. 35 is an attempt, two-point attempt, and that's going to be missed. And Sacramento brings it back down. They get their own two-point attempt, and this one goes in as they cross the 40-point mark in the second quarter. A 35 back to the Suns. Here's a shot. It's up and off. And rebound to Sacramento as they come down. <clears throat> Quick three. And they bang it in. And that's going to be uh, our score is 61-43. Uh, Suns over the Kings. And the Kings just can't seem to catch in or catch up. There's an uh, 80. That's a three ball attempt. 39 is more than our 36% uh, percentage. So they're going to miss that three. Um, back to the Kings the other way. A 31 is going to be a two point attempt from Sacramento. That's good. <clears throat> Phoenix brings the ball back down the court. A little 16 footer. And that's going to be good from the outside. And that's going to bring us down to under four minutes in the half. Uh, 68 for the Kings as they put in a little runner in the middle. And uh, 41 back to the Suns. Here's a two-point attempt is off for Phoenix. And Sacramento comes back. They take their own two-point attempt. And that's going to be off as well. Uh, uh, Phoenix comes down, throws the ball away with the turnover. 68. <clears throat> On the turnover, they get a fast break layup from the Kings. And Phoenix brings it back down two turnovers in a row now for the Suns. And let's see if the Kings can capitalize. And they do. So that's going to be four points off the last two, turn two turnovers. Two minutes left in the half. Uh, Phoenix has a shot here. And that's going to be good as they get off the schneid. <clears throat> 145 left in the half. And that's going to be a Sacramento Kings turnover. So Phoenix comes back down the other way. They take the two-point shot, and that is in. 67 to 51 is our score. Uh, here's a 31. 31 is going to be a two-point attempt from Sacramento, and that's drained. One minute left in the half, and it's going to be an 86. 86 is a three-ball attempt, and that's good for the Phoenix Suns because they drain the three at the one-minute mark. A 13, another turnover for the Kings. And Phoenix comes right back with a bucket off the turnover. 72 to 53 is our score here in the, as we wind down to the half. There's an 82. 82 is a three-ball attempt from Sacramento. That's going to be no good. And Phoenix gets one more possession at the half. That's going to be a three-ball at the buzzer. And it is missed. So here we are at halftime. And the... Visiting Suns uh, have 72, so what is that, 30, 33, and uh, 53, 20, 31. So, uh, a more even half, than the, or even quarter than the first quarter, but Phoenix just can't gain any, or uh, Sacramento can't gain any, gain any ground uh, as they are down by 19 uh, to the Suns at halftime. But with the scoring runs, anything can happen. And this is the NBA. Everybody makes a run, right? So Phoenix, uh, Phoenix had the ball at the beginning of the game. Sacramento is going to take the ball at the half. So they come out first. And it's going to be 61. 61 is a little bucket coming out of halftime. So that's good for Sacramento. 12 as they get a turnover from the Suns and they come back down the floor. Here's a three ball and that's going to be missed. A 50 for the Suns is going to be a two point attempt and that clangs off the back of the rim. And coming back down the floor is Sacramento with the three ball. That's going to be a 5 0 run to start the second half. Here's a 70 and they break the. They break the scoreless drought, the Suns do, as they put in the bucket. Here's the Kings, and they're going to promptly throw it out of bounds. Suns come back, and they get a couple of free throws. That's going to be one, two. So two for two at the line there, as uh, the lead is back out 76 to 58. 
Uh, here's a 40. A 40 is going to be a two-point attempt for Sacramento. And the Kings missed that one as Phoenix gets the board and brings it back down. A 54 is going to be an M1. So the hoop and the harm. And that's the bucket plus the free throws. So three-point play there for the Phoenix. Uh, Suns <clears throat> and the Kings come back down. They're going to take a shot. And that's going to be a miss for the Kings. Here is a, another free throw attempt. So one, uh, two. Two for two at the line for Sacramento as they drain them both. Nine minutes left in the third quarter. The Suns comfortably in the lead. Here's another turnover from the Kings. Uh, and then the Suns give it right back. Here's 21. 21 is going to be a couple free throw attempts. And 80 is outside of the range. And they go 0 for 2 at the line as we're going to move that over. And uh, Kings miss an opportunity to add on there. 38. Here's a two-point attempt from Phoenix. And that is no good. Coming back down the floor is Sacramento. 75 is a three-ball attempt. And that is no good as well. It's a little bit of cold shooting here through the middle of the third. Uh, a 52 two-point attempt from Phoenix is off the mark. Sacramento comes back down the floor, and they take their own shot, and that's going to be good this time as they get to the 60-point mark. So 81-60 is our score right now, Phoenix over Sacramento. Phoenix has the ball. There's an 84. That's going to be a three ball from the top of the key. That's no good. And back down the floor is Sacramento, and like butter, they drain it. So that's a three-pointer from Sacramento. And Phoenix brings it back down, not to be deterred. They launch their own three and hit it. So that's going to be 84 to 63, our score, as we are trading three. So Sacramento comes right back down, hits a three. And Phoenix promptly turns the ball over. Let's see if Sacramento can capitalize. And they don't. They just missed the run, though. And uh, a better team, better coach team would have had a run there. But they are a C coach team with Luke Walton. So six or five minutes and 45 seconds left in the quarter. Phoenix with the ball. They're going to take a three-point attempt, and that's no good. Uh, 26 back down the floor for Sacramento as they get the foul. And that's going to be one out of two from the line. Five minutes and 15 seconds left in the quarter. There's another three ball jacked up by the Suns, and this time it is good. 87-67 is our score. Uh, Sacramento, not to be deterred, comes back down. Bottom of the net for a three. And Phoenix back down the floor. Everybody's shooting threes. And that one's going to be missed by the Suns. There's a 45. 45 is going to be a two-point attempt from the Kings. And that is delicious. Two points for the Kings. And we go back to the Suns. The Suns bring it back down the floor. Here's a little 17-foot jumper. That one's going to be missed. As the Kings bring it back down the floor, here's an opportunity for a three, and Sacramento can't put it in. Uh, Phoenix right back down the floor on the fast break. They kick it out to the corner, and that's going to be a three-point miss. Sacramento brings it down, gets into their set offense, and gets a bucket. So the score is 87-74. Uh, Yes, 87 to 74, which means uh, the Kings have, have cut into the lead a little bit. The lead was 19 at the half. It's only, um, what was that, 13 now. Uh, the ball goes back to Phoenix. It's going to be an 83. Three-pointer for Phoenix is good as they stretch that lead back out. And three minutes left in the quarter. Sacramento coming back down the floor, 57. 57 is going to be a two-pointer. That's going to be good. Phoenix brings it back up the floor. They get an open look at a three, and they miss. And on the rebound, the Kings come back down and put it in the basket for two. That's going to be 78 to 90. 12 point lead for Phoenix as they're watching their lead erode a little bit. Uh, they have an opportunity for a two point bucket here, and they miss. Two minutes left in the quarter. Sacramento comes back down, and they drain the three. And things are getting a little uncomfortably tight for the Phoenix as we get to the end of the third quarter. And it's going to be 60 
The 60 is the answer back with 2. And the lead is 92.81, uh, 11 point lead for the Suns. There's a 60. Uh, 60 is going to be an answer from the Kings. One minute, 15 seconds left in the third quarter. There's a 75. 75 is going to be another bucket. So a good one here as the teams are getting hot at the end of the quarter. 19 is going to be a couple free throws. Uh, that's a miss and a make. So Sacramento can't capitalize on both free throws, but they do get one. Coming back down the floor, 20-footer goes in for the Suns. And... We've got a couple possessions left here for the Kings. A 96 is going to be a big three ball for them as that goes in. 87 to 96 is our score as Sacramento is climbing back into this one. A 91. Oh, and a dagger to the heart from Phoenix as they put one in from downtown. And that's going to be a three. A three is going to be a turnover to end the quarter. So into the fourth quarter, it is... Phoenix 99, uh, Sacramento 87, and at this point, we got to start pulling out the calculator. So, twenty-seven point quarter there, and that's uh, eighty-seven minus thirty-one minus twenty-two, and that's going to be a thirty-four. So Phoenix. Our uh, Sacramento outscores Phoenix uh, by seven in that quarter. <clears throat> and the lead is now 99-87, uh, so 12-point lead as Sacramento's cut down the lead. Going into, uh, going into this fourth quarter, so we'll see what happens. Uh, last team with the ball was Sacramento, so Phoenix is going to come out in the start of the fourth as they take the ball out of bounds, bring it down get into their set offense and drain a three. And that's going to be how they start the fourth quarter. An 87 for Sacramento, chance to come back and answer, and they miss the three. There's an 81. Phoenix comes down, finds an open three again, and this time they miss. Uh, Sacramento back down the court as they get their first two points of the fourth quarter. 11 minutes left in the game. <clears throat> There's a turnover from Phoenix. Uh, never good turning the ball over and then Sacramento comes back and capitalizes with two points 91 or uh yeah uh 102 91 is our score as uh, the lead still at 11 Phoenix with the ball that's gonna be a 39 39 is gonna be a two-point attempt from Phoenix and that's no good as Sacramento comes back down the floor and they hit the big three so 94 to 102 as they close the gap uh, here's a 20, a couple free throws, and Phoenix is going to miss the first and make the second. So they get one or two from the line. Nine minutes and 45 seconds left in the game. Here's a 40. Let's see what Sacramento's got, and they lay that one in, and that's going to cut into the lead as well. Phoenix feeling the pressure as they put up a three. A 39 is higher than their three-point percentage, so that's going to be a miss just off the front of the rim. Sacramento brings it back down the floor. They get an open look and can't put it in. And back the other way is Phoenix. And this time in transition, they find a three-pointer that they like and they drain it. And that's going to be back to the Kings. The Kings with an answer. And looks like this is going to be a fast and furious finish here. Uh, Phoenix back down the floor in 83. They find an open three. And doesn't look like anybody's guarding the three-point line in this game. Uh, that's going to be an 82, another shot up for the Kings, and bang, as they put it in. 102 to 109 is our score here, and it's going fast and furious in the fourth. There's a Phoenix Suns layup in transition as they go 111 uh, to 102, lead back up to nine. Uh, the Kings can't keep pace as they throw this one away. And the Phoenix Suns bring it right back out. Throw it away themselves. Uh, here's a 29 two-pointer for Sacramento is no good. Seven minutes left in the half. I mean, in the uh, game, there's a 72. That's going to be buckets for Phoenix as they are out to a 113-102 lead. 
<clears throat> lead back up to 11. Uh, here is an answer from the Kings for two. Phoenix comes back down to 53. That's going to be an AM one as they get a drive to the basket. And they complete the three-point play. So big play there from Phoenix. Uh, 40 is going to be a two-point attempt from Sacramento, and that's good as they're showing resilience in this game. Uh, 58, that's going to be an auto bucket for Phoenix. And the score now 118 to 106. Lead back up to 12 for Phoenix. And let's see if Sacramento can cut into it. 32 is going to be a two-point attempt, and that's good. Five and a half minutes left in the game, and Phoenix is going to take the two-point shot as they miss and give Sacramento a little bit of a door here. Uh, 58 is going to be an auto bucket. So score 110 to 118, eight-point lead for Phoenix as we head into the last five minutes of the half. There's a 14, big turnover from Phoenix. And coming right back down the way is Sacramento as they drain the three. And things getting uncomfortably tight now for Phoenix, 118, 113. And here's a 72. That's going to be an answer, 120 to 113 now. 57 and hanging tough Sacramento 121 15 with four minutes left in the game 39 is going to be a two-point attempt and that's good for the Suns as they drain that one and for Sacramento they come back down uh, with an answer so 117 122 <clears throat> 122 117 Phoenix over Sacramento, and we're going to uh, have a three-point attempt, and that's a huge three from the Suns. <coughs> Not a lot of defense in this game, uh, but uh, Sacramento with the ball coming back down the way. Uh, that's going to be an M1 as they get a bucket and the foul, and they missed the, the opportunity for the three-point play. Could be big in the end. We'll see. Uh, here's an 81. That's a three-point attempt for Phoenix, and that's no good. And coming back down the floor is Sacramento. They get to the bucket, and two free throws. Missed one and made one, and they left several points at the free throw line in this game. That's a 50. Two-point attempt for Phoenix is missed as they've suddenly gone cold. And Sacramento comes back down the floor, and they missed from three. Had an opportunity there to uh, close the gap. Here's a 32. 32 is another two-pointer for Phoenix. Also missed. And let's see if Sacramento can capitalize. And they do. They hit the three. 123, 125. And um, Phoenix with a two-point lead as we get to one and a half minutes left in the game. That's going to be a 62 as they come up with a big bucket. <clears throat> and Sacramento. Uh, here's a 55. 55 is an AM one as they get a drive to the basket. And... They get the foul, and that is a three-point play. 126-127, <clears throat> so getting real tight in this game with only one minute left in the game. Here's a 61. 61 is a two-point attempt. That's good. And 46 for the Kings. They have an opportunity here, and they miss the two-point shot. Phoenix comes down. Here's a three. And that's going to be a miss. It is 126, 129. The Kings with the ball. This is going to be their last opportunity. Uh, a 62. 62 is going to be a two pointer. As they are going to come up just short as Phoenix runs out the clock. And that's going to be a 129, 128 win for Phoenix as Sacramento made it really close in the end. So 129 minus 27. So that was a 30 point fourth quarter. And that's going to be a 41, a scorcher of a second half. As they score 75 in the second half, does Sacramento uh, to equal. Almost equal Phoenix's 
uh, 72, actually surpassed Phoenix at 72 in the first half. Uh, so this is the game, and sort of a quick play game. You can see there's only one run uh, that we had in this game, but a ton of scoring. Uh, seemed like the dice <clears throat> were rolling their way. Sometimes the dice don't roll <laughs> the team's way in every attempt that they make. Uh, they don't hit on, especially threes. Uh, so a little bit of uh, chance with the attempts, and uh, also a little bit of um, automatic scoring just to make sure that the numbers are inflated enough uh, to be a real basketball game in the NBA. Obviously, not a lot of defense going on in this game, but the Kings did give them a good run at home. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about the game, then just leave them down in the comments section below. If you like this, share it. Uh, that would be great. And uh, I'll be releasing uh, four teams, so Phoenix, Sacramento, Chicago, and New York. Uh, is who I will be releasing. So two Western Conference teams, two Eastern Conference teams, and kind of a mix. There are two uh, A coach teams, one B and one C. So you'll get sort of a flow and a mix of, of all the different types of teams. Um, and I'm looking to make this uh, better. So when I release the demo, uh, play it, check it out. I'll release this uh, score sheet uh, along with it. It's just simple basic score sheet. If you want to keep any notes here, you can. Um, and then, you know, you can see how the scoring works. It's just one one possession, back and forth, uh, taking 15 seconds off the clock. And I'll be manipulating the clock a little bit if, if the scoring is too hot, uh, which it's a little bit too hot. But, you know, some games I get, you know, 112 to 98. So it just, it's, eh, it's a little all over the place sometimes. Uh, but maybe the NBA is a little bit all over the place like that. Never quite know what you're going to get in terms of scoring or defense. So this is it. And uh, each team gets uh, about 100 possessions per game. Uh, I'm considering uh, including timeouts, which a timeout would be... Mm, a timeout would leave you on a square twice. Uh, considering TV timeouts, where when you land on it, you go through two times, so each team gets uh, one possession in one block instead of moving, because uh, that's a real part of the game as well, TV timeouts. So just different things like that, uh, kind of adding in a little bit of flair and fun uh, into the game. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, again, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, this is not on base baseball, uh, but if you'd like tabletop baseball games, I do a uh, several on uh, <laughs> several baseball games uh, that you can take a look at and um, pretty excited about this it's kind of quick play but it's possession by possession so uh, it has a nice flow to it and uh, eventually we'll add individual players in there and have opportunities for them to affect the game uh, with lineups and things like that so um, check this out I'll uh, I'll release the demo on the Delphi forums and you'll be able to see that and maybe some of the Facebook groups as well uh, so you can pay attention uh, to those places if you're on them and you can see uh, how to download it was just a, a basic sheet of paper a couple sheets of paper the footprint on this is pretty low at this point and you only need 2d 10 dice to play the game all right that's it for me thanks for watching and I'll see you again next